In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a metallic logo reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. Let's create a new composition. Go to name it main, as our main comp, and drag your logo to the timeline. Then hit S and adjust the scale if needed. And then right click the logo, select pre compose. Let's call this logo. Make sure mobile attribute is selected. Click OK. Now let's go to effects and presets to so search for gradient ramp and add it to the logo comp. That'll give our logo a nice metallic look. Leave the settings as they are. Now search for bevel alpha and add this to the logo comp, set light intensity to 1 and increase the edge thickness. I'm going to set mine to 6, that'll give it a nice metallic look right here. Then search for CC light sweep and add this to the logo comp. You'll see this point appear, you can just drag it across the logo and see the traditional light sweep. So we're going to animate it, let's place it at the bottom left corner of our logo and adjust the width to 75 and sweep intensity to 75, that'll make it brighter. And select CC Light Sweep, go to Edit, Duplicate or press Ctrl D as a shortcut to duplicate this light sweep and set center to the top middle point of our logo. Let's set direction to 90 degrees so it's horizontal. And now let's animate the light sweeps. At the beginning of the composition, create keyframes for both light sweep center points by clicking these stopwatches. Then press U to see the keyframes on the timeline. Let's move forward to say 6 seconds. Select light sweep number 1 and drag the point across. Then select light sweep number 2 and drag the point down all the way. And now we'll have light sweeps animating throughout our composition, making our logo nice and shiny. Now let's let the logo comp go to edit, duplicate, rename the top logo layer to Vegas. Then go to effect controls, press ctrl A to select all effects and press delete to remove them. Then search for Vegas in effects and presets and add this to the Vegas comp. Let's hide the bottom of the logo layer so we can better focus on Vegas for now. Go to effect controls, set blend mode to transparent and segments to 1. Also let's set the color to white so we can easily recolor it later. Set width to 5, midpoint opacity to minus 0.2 and midpoint position to all the way to 0. Now make sure you are at the beginning of the composition and create keyframes for length and rotation by clicking the stopwatches and set length to 0. Then move one second forward and press U to see the keyframes. Set length to 1, then move to 6 seconds, and set rotation to 4 cycles. Now our Vegas lines will animate throughout our composition. Let's go ahead and add glue to this. Go to effects and presets and search for glue, the good old stylized glue, add this to the Vegas layer. You can see our lines got a bit brighter. Let's select the glue and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And for the second glue, let's set glow radius to 40 and glow intensity to 0.8. Let's duplicate the second glue, set glow radius to 100 and glow intensity to 0.5. Let's also add CC radial fast blur to create light streaks. Set zoom to brightest and amount to 20. As you can see that creates a cool light streaks effect from our Vegas lines. We can now create a smooth fade transition from our logo lines to the metallic logo. Let's select both layers and go to 2 seconds then press T to bring up opacity. Then create keyframes for both layers by clicking the stopwatch and for the logo layers opacity set it to 0. Now let's go 2 seconds forward to 4 seconds and set Vegas opacity to 0 and logo opacity all the way to 100 and make sure to bring the logo back so it's visible. And now at 2 seconds our Vegas lines will start to fade out while our logo will start revealing itself. One thing I like to do is select the Vegas uh, keyframes and offset them by 15 frames forward so our Vegas lines actually stay on top of our logo for a bit longer. We can now proceed to colorizing our Vegas lines so let's select the Vegas layer press ctrl D to duplicate it. Click on toggle switch mode to bring up mode colon and set Vegas 2 mode to add and simply change the Vegas color to something that you like. I'm going for a nice orange color, then select Vegas 2, press ctrl D to duplicate it again and slightly shift the color, I'm going for something more orange. And once you're happy with how this looks, you can select all the layers, right click any of them and select pre-compose. I'm naming it logo animation to stay organized. Now we need some sort of background, I've got the texture background for pexels.com, I'm going to drag it to the timeline and then right click on it and select pre-compose, let's call this BG. I'm going to add brightness and contrast to decrease the brightness of the picture, also I'm going to add motion tile that we'll need later in this video. I'm going to set brightness to minus 100, this might be different for your texture and your background and we'll get back to motion tile in a bit. Click on toggle switch mode and make both layers 3D, then right click new camera. Select 28mm camera, click OK. Then right click again, new null object, make it 3D and parent the camera by dropping the pick whip from the camera to the null object. Now select null 1 and press R to bring up rotation. 
set X rotation to 25 and Y rotation to 25 as well. Create keyframes for X and Y rotations by clicking the stopwatches. Just select those keyframes and drag them to the beginning of the composition. Then move to 4 seconds and set X and Y rotations back to 0. Now press S to bring up scale properties. Create a keyframe at 4 seconds at 100. Go to the beginning of the composition and set scale to 70%. Now we can see the black edge that we need to cover with our texture. For that, let's go back to the BG layer by selecting it. Increase the output width and height for the motion tile. And also check on mirror edges and you can see now that black space is gone. Now select null one and press U two times to see all the keyframes on the timeline. Select all the keyframes, right click on any of them. Keyframe assistant, easy ease. Or you can press F9 as a shortcut. That'll smoothen out the animation. We can go ahead and preview this, but keep in mind animations like this are really heavy to preview. So you might want to lower the resolution in order to be able to preview. One thing I don't like about this is that there is no separation between the logo and the background. For that, let's add a quick drop shadow. Let's go to effect and presets and search for drop shadow. Add this to the logo animation layer. Set opacity all the way to 100. Distance to 0 and softness to 20. And that'll separate the logo from the background a bit more. Now let's select logo animation layer. Press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And rename the bottom one to shadow. Remove drop shadow from it. Now in effects and presets, search for CC Radial Fast Play, add this to the shadow layer, and also add fill to it, and make sure fill is above the radial fast blur. Set the fill color to black, and the amount of blur to 95. Let's animate the CC Radial Fast Blur. Let's select the center point and place it in the top left corner. Create a keyframe by pressing the stopwatch. Press U to see that keyframe. Move it to the beginning of the composition. Go to 6 seconds, and drag the point across to the top right corner. That will give us animated shadows throughout our composition. Let's create an adjustment layer by right click new adjustment layer. And make sure it's above all other layers. Go to effects and presets and search for CC vignette. Add this to the adjustment layer. Set it amount to 250 to get a nice vignette on the edges to create a really cool atmosphere. We can also add curves. Search for curves in effects and presets. Add this to the adjustment layer. And create a slight earth curve for the contrast. Then go to red channel, slightly decrease it, go to green channel, decrease it as well, and then go to blue channel and slightly increase it. That will slightly shift the colors and give our composition a blue tinted look, which I think looks perfect in this case. We can also search for noise and effects in presets, add this to the adjustment layer, set amount to 6% and check your color noise. That will make our animation a bit less static. Let's do one full preview because the tutorial is complete at this point. I really hope you enjoyed and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a like. I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.